We do have Evelyn now. Evelyn could give us some spice. Yeah, do go ahead. Do, do go ahead. Wow! Yes, yes. Evelyn, we love you. Evelyn, number one bestie. Me and Evelyn against the world. We love her. Evelyn really slaps. Like, when Evelyn pops off, Evelyn pops the fuck off. Like, she is a real one for that. Am I not playing enough Evelyn's? I might not. She just slays. What's up and welcome everyone to a new Murders at Carl of Manor standard video. And in this video, we're going back to our beloved vampires. But instead of focusing on like, you know, what I normally have done in the past, like a Mardu sacrifice brew, we are playing a true mid-range deck that just basically has the Cavern of Souls in there to make our vampires uncounterable, which is super valuable in like an environment where, you know, Esper mid-range, blue white control, Demir mid-range are all playing a bunch of counter spells. And Cavern of Souls obviously makes it so that our creatures cannot be countered if they share that type and we're choosing vampire with Cavern. So basically all our creatures outside of the bat are uncounterable. Then again, we could also do Cavern of Souls on Bat and make Deep Cavern Bat and Eclis also uncounterable too if we want to. So basically, we just have all the good vampire cards, Blood Eyed Harvester, Vodarian Epicure, Corpse Appraiser, the absolute OG from like the, you know, the glue that kept the Grixis decks back together back in the, the good old days. 3 mana 3G Vampire exiles one target creature card from a graveyard. And if a card is put into exile this way, you look at the top three cards of your library and put one of the cards into your hand and the rest into your library. So this is basically 3-drop, three 3-3, three, three, exile card, draw a card. Or exile creature, draw a card. Which is really neat. Um, we then also have the new Preacher of the Schism, which is also a fantastic mid-range card. And just adds a lot of value to a deck like this, where we would just love to draw cards. So some spice at the top end. We have Evelyn in here, a one-off copy of Ev Evelyn. Because she's just a girl boss and we have a vampire deck anyway. So we should always, almost always be capable of like triggering her ability and making sure that she exiles a card from each player's library with a collection counter on it. So we can steal some cards from our, from our opponent too. And that, if once again, is a pretty good strategy to not run out of cards when games go on super long. Uh, I have an Eclazot in here too, because I believe that every black mid-range deck should have at least one copy of Eclazot in the deck because the card is just so strong. Not only, once again, in grindy matchups, but against like aggro decks too. But now for the ultimate spice. At the top end, I'm playing three copies of Vein Ripper. The new card, the ultimate hype legend that uh, obviously remember from the Pro Tour. With six mana, six five vampire with flying and ward and the ward cost is sacrifice a creature and whenever a creature dies target opponent loses to life and you gain to life i feel like this card is just really just sweet at the top end um unfortunately unlike in pioneer we cannot cheat this thing out on turn three but i feel like even if you just cast it on curve in like i said a, a, a fair mid-range deck it can still put in a lot of work for you but it doesn't end there because we're still doing some evil stuff in here because there's technically a one turn kill combo in here. So if we have cards like Blood Eye Harvester and Vodair and Epicure, they create blood tokens. We find a way to discard a Vein Ripper from the hand with a Blood Blood Eye Harvester or Epicure's blood tokens. We make sure we have two Vein Rippers in the graveyard. We can then use Pull, which is put up to two target creature cards from a single graveyard onto the battlefield in your control. They can haste until end of turn, sacrifice them at the beginning of the next end step. You deal 20 damage exactly. So two Vein Rippers in a graveyard, cast pull, bring them, attack. They sacrifice at the beginning of the end step. You get some extra damage and that should add up to exactly 20. So um, if you want to, if you want to game, that little bit of like a one turn kill combo is also in a deck, which is pretty good and like can actually do a lot of work for you in matchups that might be a little stalled, um, which is why push and pulls in here too. I feel like it's a very flexible card. Um, for, for what it does. Removal on one end, which is nice, and the other end can just, uh, especially in combination with the Vein Rippers, just win you the game out of nowhere. Pretty solid mid-range vampire deck so far. I'm running it on an 80% win rate, but it's also just about like 10 games or something, so it doesn't mean much, but the deck has felt great so far. I really like Cavern of Souls against all these like counter spells, so we just don't have to care about it. And um, yeah, I think this is probably the best way to play vampires in the current meta. 
no more the uh the mardu deck kind of like fell off a bit because of all the temporary lockdowns and all that too that are happening right now this deck doesn't really care about that anyways let's get into some gameplay before we get started please like and subscribe it would really help me out and make my day for now let's enjoy some vampire action and see you guys in the next video this video is brought to you by ultimate guard Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards, ranging from sleeves, deck boxes, playmats, binders, and more. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. Support the channel and yourself by purchasing your Ultimate Guard products using the link in the description. And Ben Convoke, you cowards. Nah, very true. Louder for the people in the back. <coughs> yeah. Hashtag free invoke despair. Hashtag free meat hook massacre. <laughs> It's true. Be my besties. They hate to see good black and red cards thrive. No, you're right, you're right. Bring mono black back. That looks pretty good. Wish we had a board wipe in it, but feeling pretty chill with cut down. Arena's treating me alright. <laughs> We're right. Thanks for asking. No gleeful one time. You don't have it one time. Damn it. Vibe check not pass. I'll just try to like keep the creatures at a minimum, I guess. E is a bat. Fuck. Almost a Pyo start. Um Uh oh. I feel like it's invasion, I think. Super greedy, but I'm I'm grabbing invasion. Oh, they're not imitating? Oh. Greed, I guess. Fuck no lands? Damn. I, I, why'd you have to do that? Why do you gotta do that? Why do you gotta do that? Fuck. This is really where I wish I could have slammed both Epicure and this Medic Barrage, but our lands are bad. Yeah, I think our best bet is just like Epicure and try to dig for land. I'll probably just be like respectful and kick the Corpse Appraiser because I might not find blue anytime soon. Rattle the top. Technically a land, but... Mm. I mean, that was a very, like, risky play, because if I had a board wipe, they'd be fucked. I wouldn't have minded if they just slammed Imidane, but... This is working out for them, too. Like, look how low we are now. Eight. So this is going to be Preacher plus Lithmetic Barrage. We'll do Illness Spectre. Like one thing that I always like doing against Convoke decks is, you know, try to like hit their, at least try to remove their like white cards if I can choose between white or red because of the synergy with the Knight Errant um, Convoke stuff. So I try to do that. I like to think that it works a little bit. Anyway, we have to deny that. Uh, I'll still play that out because I'll probably need my mana at some point. Um, this gets me a 1-1 one -one with lifelink, which I'll take. Feels awkward against Imidane. Then again, life gain we appreciate. Preacher is so amazing. Nah, Preacher really is just a gift, like... It really is. New Preacher, Harvester. Wouldn't mind Vampire Vengeance. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> but we are, uh, we could absolutely be in trouble. Like there's a lot of cards that they could find on the top that I won't name because Jinx, but how are you going to celebrate when Hag's gone? 
Imminent hater. Oh, fucking hell. This is what I mean. Imminent on the top. Look. Staying alive. Staying alive. But for how long? I mean, we're technically dead, right? We're technically dead. Unless they're dumb enough to attack with the might, but I doubt that because they're good players. But now I'm really manifesting they're bad players. <laughs> okay. A blessing? All right, one point of damage. Let's hope for the best. No Epicure, no War Leader Skull. They would have done that already, I guess. Praise, we survived. Um, okay, keep it going. Smallest thing, give it a 10. I totally thought we were fucking dead there, I won't lie to you. I was like, there's no way in hell they don't top back. I truly thought we were dead. We've seen, what, two Imidanes already? The chance of third Imidane should be low. Oh my god. I don't know how the fuck we won that. I was really just thinking, like, they told like Epicure, they told that Call, like, I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, there's a lot of blood tokens here, if anything. Like, we can try to filter our hand a little bit. Okay. Cavern of Souls carry this. Vampire. Cool. Ooh, wait, a little bat moment. We might have to go for that. A little deep cavern battle in two. Don't mind me. Oh. Um, sheesh. so what do we do? So the deep cavern bat is probably our second next play. They're going to grab my harvester. I could grab their Aklazot. Spit like, it's very respectful, but. Um. Yeah, maybe I'll just grab the bat though. I have one card, I have one card left, so. And then my flyer could go face. Gain some life, you know. Luck with that make disappear. Uh -huh. Hopefully, uh, Evelyn snatches some good stuff. Rooting for her. Hey, yo, JP caught in the fucking red handed. Take a, take a screenshot, grab the camera, pause. I'm going to have to remove Gix. Is it like a Lazaf chump? Remove Gix? Probably. Gix is worse encoded. We're going to have to do that. I believe in, in, the, in the Evelyn carry. OTJ is the name for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. That's weird. I, I feel like OTJ is like... I don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue nicely like MKM did.
I don't know. Just did not roll off the tongue nicely. I'll block your ass, Lazaf. Ooh, is that my own X assault? Ooh, but I mean, that doesn't really do much because... Counterspell. We're slamming Evelyn. The leak to OTJ mechanics with mid. Hmm. I mean, doing crime or whatever. God, like, cr I guess I really like crime decks. I always commit crime and magic, magic from what I've heard. Removing, targeting. Nearly everything. Like, everything will be a crime, I guess. <laughs> when you're not committing a crime. The, the trickier question. You know what, Bestie? I might give this to you. Are you going to pop your clue to turn it into Gix? You are. Go ahead and tap out for me. So I can slam my Eclazalt. Thank you. A window, maybe? Yo, Bella, thank you so much for the eight months. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're still not tapping out, though. We do have Evelyn now. Evelyn could give us some spice. Yeah, do go ahead. Do, do go ahead. That was gas. <laughs> Evelyn, we love you. Evelyn, number one bestie. Me and Evelyn against the world. We love her. Evoke despair does not count as committing a crime. <laughs> Silly. God, ha just having access to a cavern of souls is just so nice. Yo, Gizmo, thank you for the 42. It's just so fucking nice, dude. Like, this is the life. Oh, uh, I guess Reef is fine. With the Evelyn trigger. Uh, well, how does she work again? Uh, I guess we can eventually replay either go for the throw or shipwreck. Important to remember. Okay. That is once a turn. Yeah. New VIP Gizmo. 42 months. 420k bells. What a legend. Let's add you to the elite group of people. And thank you so much for the support, Gizmo. I appreciate you. Why the f... Oh, do I need... Oh, hold on. I need to... A visit achievements page to learn how to unlock additional VIP souls. I have to just kick out some like old VIPs that have not been in the channel for forever and I know exactly who they are because they don't respond even to the Christmas cards or haven't chatted in a while. But let me write your name down here. A, a, a small purge for uh, a few VIPs. A tiny purge. or get rid of preacher tiny vip purge the purge is a treat <laughs> shit i guess i'm slamming preacher oh hey with the discord vip yeah for that one you just gotta like Send me a DM on Discord that you're like OA, and then I'll, I'll get you the VIP. What's she, uh, what's she exile? We get girl boss, a deep cavern vet, and a preacher. Okay. Three vips on stream, let's go. Yeah, that's true, it's true. Boss is also with the VIP redemption. Welcome to the elite group. Like, you are a legend. Crazy. All right, you guys both. Thank you for your support. I'll clear it up. Um, the slight into streamers DMs. No, it's true.
You're gonna have to slam Axelot here, yeah. Evelyn really slaps. Like when Evelyn pops off, Evelyn pops the fuck off. Like she is a real one for that. Mm, what am I doing here? Swing with preacher. Hit a bat. We we'll just play like the land out, and then we're gonna do bat plus aquasots, I guess. I love how the opponents like make the spear has been dead as hell. Oh shit, is that another aquasots? All right, just aquasots for days, sure. Yo, do we just get some gifties? Evnir, thank you so much for the five. I appreciate you. Can we get some spins in the chat for this absolute legend? Supporting the stream. Here we go. Thank you. Oh, this, uh, this, like, this is making me, like, convinced that I need more Evelyns, you know what I mean? <laughs> Am I not playing enough Evelyns? I might not. I don't know. She just slays. We need more Evelyns. I, like, I don't know. Like, Evelyn, Evelyn is just such an incredible, like, mid-range card. If she doesn't get removed, you just infinite resources and stealing your opponent's shit, you know? Thank you so much, Bestie. I appreciate you. Yeah. Like, I, I know one Evelyn is correct. I wish I could do more, though. That's kind of what I'm saying. Because we also have, like, the Vein Ripper strategy that we just have not seen yet at all, but <laughs> that's fine. Uh, this should be a win with Reef, um, according to quick math. Okay. I mean, fuck am I to do with this? It's not bad or anything, but... Kind of need to find something for Ob here. Okay. Hold the room then. Pilgrim? Yeah, Pilgrim Pil Pilgrim could be a very good card. I quite like it. It's a fairy that I respect, you know? Respectable the fairy. That goes on Vampire. Um, do I maybe just say fuck it? Obnix list minus or something? Maybe. Should bait a thing or two out, I think. <laughs> Mayhaps, perhaps. Mm. Okay. Well, whatever then. I'm just kind of shocked we're playing that because that's a really fucking good card. You shouldn't be playing good cards, bestie. Like, I really like their take on the mirror mid from what I've seen so far. It's pretty neat. I need lands. I think we need some anoint with afflictions in this deck too for like exile. I mean, I guess. I mean, I haven't really seen Underdog in a while, but. Good night, sweet friends. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they go for life gain. Or I'll just cut it down. <laughs> sure. I need a land. Come on now. Fuck, now we have the Rippers and Equisots, but no lands. That's just really unfortunate. Shit. We hate to see it. We hate to see it.
Besties, the vibes are continuing to deteriorate. <laughs> Alright, sure. I'll have to hit that with Triumph, I guess, because it's going to snatch it. <laughs> Stupid bat. Yeah, missing your land drops is just horrible in a mid-range mirror, like... You know. We move. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, at least we got Blondie with the bops, but, um, you know, <laughs> the vibes are continuing to deteriorate, unfortunately. Uh... Thing is, I would say, like, I don't know if we win these. Then again, like, if we manage to rip a land off the top and, like, cast an Eclazots. Maybe. I don't know. But, like, once again, like, Lazaf is just going to be drawing a shitload of lands and stuff. We do have push for Lazaf, but... In fact, we kill the bat and they still see the hands of bunkers. You yeah, know, a little, a little. They can now make the perfect play. They understand how to work the play to deck, which I think they do. I really like the way their deck's constructed. <sighs> so sorry. My sleep schedule is upside down. Normally, like, stream would be the first thing I do during the day. My day. Weird day. Don't ask. And now it's become, like, the last thing I do in the end of the day or ever since, like, stuff has gone down with my family. Yeah, minus one, minus one on Toshiro. But even like the life gain on the bat's pretty clutch too. Right, so I was gonna slam Eclazaz and you bet me. And I hate that. Mm, I'm thinking like step one definitely has to be getting rid of Lazaf though. And then. Mm, we can do like Obnixilis, maybe like, maybe just throw Ob away to minus and then like Toshiro gets blocked, we remove the bat. That kind of like, kind of like denies them, you know, prevents them from thriving on the ground, I think, because we pressure them ever, so we pressure them for all, forever. Kind of vibe. I like it. I mean, you lose an op, which kind of sucks, but you might gain an Eclazots again, which is pretty good, right? Corpse Appraiser is fucking incredible here. We can exile Underdog. What a blessing. I do have Cavern of Souls, so you cannot counter this shit. Um, hello? Yeah, not very smart tiger mittens. They didn't get the warning from MG Arena, now they fucked it. <laughs> they could have met, perhaps like countered the triggered ability. They could have done that, but you can't do that. They sequenced it wrong. Too quick, yeah. Too quick, bestie. I guess we'll grab the Xander's Lounge. We can try to guarantee ourselves the Vein Ripper soon, TM. I mean, they're still in a really good spot. Like, they got four cards. We got one. I mean... It sucks, you know? I mean, I think they didn't understand what went wrong or what would happened. So they had to, like, look at the board and realize we got Cavern. <laughs> I think. It was a pretty, it was pretty, it's a pretty big moment in the game. It's one of those mistakes that the opponent made that could put us back into it, you know? Could be huge. Could be huge. Mm 
Land for opponent? Preacher for opponent? Way seems clear for the Vein Ripper to thrive, perhaps? Question mark? Okay. Vein Ripper! Yippee! Now what? <laughs> now what? We got a nice Vein Ripper. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get removed immediately, but we'll see. You could leave this land on hand. If you draw a land next turn, it's fine. If you don't, it's better. That's a man land. I'm going to put that in play. <laughs> if that's just a basic island that I have in my hand or some shit, I agree. But that's a man land. That's relevant. Like, I'm not going to not play my man land out. The cycling in. No, I needed to put the land in play for Vein Ripper. What do you mean? I think you're, uh, tripping a little bit. Here we go. Get Exos back. Try to. Yeah. People just trying to be, uh, trying to be like a little, a little smart, a little bit too, uh, you know. That's okay, but we don't need that over here. Personally, you would keep it. Ripper's not a solo win con. All right. <laughs> we have somebody that doubles down rather than be like, oh shit, I forgot it's six mana. <laughs> Classic. Sure. You would keep a Xander's Lounge cycle instead of playing out a Vein Ripper. That's a choice. That's a choice. Okay. Uh, how many of those guys do we have to face tonight? One too many, I'm afraid. Hmm not vampire can put that on that here we go respecting make this appear or like this dangerous stroke or whatever they might have here we go Looking good in the air right now. Akazot's Fain Ripper team up, ready to save us. <laughs> My guy, I have played in the Pro Tour. I don't need you, uh, literally back. That's like one of the worst backseats in the history of this channel. Like, <laughs> respectfully, I have played in the Pro Tour. Like, I, I think I know what I'm doing. Sometimes holding a strategic land, I understand, but you're not going to hold a cycle land and deny yourself a vein ripper on curve. That's not correct. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh god, the clown sometimes. We move. I will learn that in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will learn that in the future. For sure. No offense, though. I'll, I'll learn it. I'm sure. <laughs> fuck's sake anyway um if i mill them there's a chance to get a uh underdog let me mill myself what could you cycle in that it could be better than vein ripper their comment was stupid for like about 30 different reasons but i tried to be respectful and not like try to flame them down I try, I try to be nice for once. This is what you get. I'll learn it in the future. You know? 
I'm sure. <laughs> Silly. Um... Kind of misplayed that, I guess. Thought I would have had lethal, but it'd be at one. Um, what am I gonna do? Probably just another flyer, I guess. Kind of helps me against the Liliana minus. JP, like they they missed something, but they just doubled down so hard. Like, like you cannot be that bad at the game that you think that you think holding a cycle land is better than playing out the biggest threat in your deck. Like you can't be that bad. The only the only way that their fucking shit comments worked is because they were too embarrassed to admit that they made a mistake and they doubled down. That that's it, by the way. Like there's no other way to explain that. Or you're like really that horrible at the game, but then why the fuck are you backseating? Anyways, the vein ripper that was not gonna solo happened to solo our game. Crazy how that works, no? Crazy. It has died. Here it is. It was like a little dog. It's now dead. Rip. Exploded. RIP. The Hearthstone card? No. No. Okay, let's see if we can stop the Gleeful demo. Bruh, two cases and a Troy Evil. That is bad news. Damn. The hand looks pretty cracked. Shit. Well, maybe hit a land drop. Yippee. Okay, that's something. We're gonna have to aggressively look for, like, not only a Vampire Vengeance, but also red mana. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. I have to grab the blood illness. I have to grab it. And then manifest red. Step one, I guess. Yeah, now hit the red source somehow. Good luck. Uh-huh. The monkey paw curls. Yeah, right. Ooh, 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 maybe not. But opponent didn't go gleeful demo, so why not? That's weird. That's got to be like flashing the, the the girl bosses. Resolute reinforcements. Mm, maybe it's night errant. I mean, I'm going to go full greed here. Like, I hate to give them the flipped case, but I'm going to go full greed. You're going to fuck up somehow. The fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, like, this is giving really, like, suspicious vibes. Um... Or they're like literally world's most patient Boros player or some shit. Like, I don't know. I have no idea. Like, I hate calling out snipes, but it's weird. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe actually a world's most patient Boros player. I don't know.
<laughs> I have no idea. Like, there's no way you don't run the case out here. Like, you're going to try, right? Like, what am I going to do? Instant speed wipe your board? I mean, they might be familiar with Vampire Vengeance, but like, Jesus. There's Slamming Kellen. Not even attacking? I mean, maybe this really is just world's most patient Boros player or something. It might be. They for real might be. Implode, thank you so much for uh, the third month on Courtesy of Eve. Courtesy of Eve, thank you. Second month. I can't read. Thank you, Eve. And thank you, Implode. I'm not I'm the my, my the red flags aren't going off yet for me like I think you can still be a good player and be incredibly respectful I don't think they're playing it bad you know it's not it's not difficult to predict like a board wipe here it's just weird that they somehow like respected the instant speed board wipe but Yeah, the, the red flags were, aren't, like, going nuts or something, uh... They're playing really good, which is why we're like, okay, snipe. <laughs> but I don't know, I think they're just good players, maybe, just... And we're not used to it, because a lot of Boros Convoke players suck ass, I think, so... I think we're just not used to have, seeing a good Boros player. <laughs> to be fair. Okay. Twitch chat shock. I mean, from Boros players, like a lot of them play completely reckless and like attack all brain dead, you know what I mean? But this person isn't. I don't know. They were definitely playing around something. Um, but it made him play good, so they made the right choices. The urge to go unga bunga with Boros? Nah, it's true. But this opponent didn't, so, uh... I think they're just good players. <laughs> like, I'm the first to be sus about sniping, and I, I know there's a few people that I run into, and they snipe me every fucking time, and I see them in chat every damn time, too. But this bestie uh, is not one of them. They're just good players. Which sucks. Good Boris player, we hate to see it. Grand Portal RIP. I guess. Very good player of me running through M portal. That's called like trench warfare though. <laughs> the trench warfare. All right, so we have to do some math here uh, because I can do pool to bring back appraiser and epicure, but the opponent the six. I think that should be close to lethal one way or another I think I feel like that should be it I think like push and pull in this deck. Seems like a really nice, nice upside, you know? Feels really, feels really good. I mean, I got my cavern, I'm good. Should I spend four mythics to make an Uwu Mentor deck? I love Uwu Mentor and I think it's pretty strong too. So yeah, I would recommend. If you are thinking about it, I would absolutely do it. 
Okay. Mm I didn't think blue, but we're fine. Some BM behavior. Well, if I see a somewhat alarming message from my family after I have, well, like, you know, my grandma passed away, I think I can, uh, I have the rights to check my phone for a second. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I'm sure Gundal, what are you gonna do? Sue me? Like, no. I, uh, I think I have every right to check my phone. So, if it bothers you, you can leave the stream. I'll be fine. Okay. Like, <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, okay, we got a hag. Sure. I'll take this. Get the setup. Yeah, like me getting a kind of like alarming message from my family, like worrying about somebody like, oh my God, how can you be on your phone while playing Magic the Gathering? I'm playing a fucking game, dude. Like, hello. My phone is on full noise. No, it's true. Homie has not anyone talked to them for how many years, probably? Crazy. Anyway. Ribozo, yeah. Right? Like, what the fuck? I really need to find, like, a blue source somewhere, uh, Loki. I think Tunnel Grinder might give me a reasonable shot at doing so, I guess. Yeah, right, right. Hmm. Like, I really would like to find a blue source. I was thinking sarcasm too, and then they started insulting and, uh, you know. No. Hmm. I'm just trying to think, like, is it worth it or do I just slam, like, Preacher of the Schism or some shit? Well, I don't hate setting up Tunnel Grinder. And I guess discarding Preacher could enable... I guess maybe discarding... Bane Ripper's fucking good, though. I guess discarding Preacher... also enables Corpse, so maybe? Fuck. Okay, fine. There we go. Sure. Before Shogun side trigger descent. Nah, they don't. Tokens don't trigger descent. You actually have to like put a permanent in your graveyard. Wow. 
Okay, they were not going to lose the tunnel grinder, I guess. Damn. All right. Um, I fear, I fear I still don't have blue. It's kind of what I was afraid of, you know, but uh, let's play it there. Fine. We're still having a forge, like that's going to do a lot of work already anyway. Forge slam. Like, if you spent your turns casting Zurgo and Ojutai to get rid of my Obnix, like, I guess I'm kind of chilling. I have another one here anyway. Sure. Wait, wait, actually. And Zuger was just a stick. Yeah, I'm all right. That. I cannot read the bet. <laughs> Goofy. I just cannot read the bet. Here we go. Actually, like, I have no idea. I've never really played with Zurgo and Ojitai, so I don't know. I just need Vayne Rupert to slay this game. There we go. the bat. I guess they're bouncing the bat. Okay. And that land goes so hard. They're going face with Trigger and Ojitai. Holy shit. You are greed. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Oh yeah, how are you gonna solve that? We got two obs. What are you gonna do? Are you like... Alright. Somebody m must have never played against Opnix Liz in their lives or something. I don't know. Like, do you, do you get it, Chief? <laughs> like, I could have put my, like, vampires in play and... But I just, I will activate my AWP and teach them a lesson. Like, that's not, that's not how you're supposed to do that.